In Ottawa, there weren't any arrests or cars on fire, but the firestorm over the Senate spending scandal is picking up steam. Three senators whose names have been in the news repeatedly over the past few months are going to be suspended without pay. Their actions were described today as grossly negligent. But one of them, Mike Duffy, seems to be trying to circumvent the suspension by claiming he has a medical problem. Mike Lecouture has the story. Senators Pamela Wallen, Mike Duffy and Patrick Brazo weren't in the upper chamber today and it's possible they won't be allowed to set foot in this place for another two years. Conservative leader in the Senate, Claude Carignan, wants them all suspended from the Senate without pay. The principle is that when you have a bad behavior and, and you use uh, your privilege to abuse of your, the power and it uh, could imply a disciplinary sanction. Sanctions would strip them of all office resources and the ability to claim any expenses. The Liberals contend this is the Conservatives attempt to change the channel. These three senators were appointed by Prime Minister Harper and they were there to serve his interests. They are his appointees and he is responsible. Even though the three senators were conservatives, some liberals don't think it's fair. On the principle of fairness, I mean, the two of them have not been charged uh, criminally with either a summary conviction offense or an indictable offense. Senator Duffy preempted the suspension this morning, saying he's taking medical leave because of heart problems. My GP suggests, he says, that to avoid further stress on my system, I stay off work until I get the all clear from my medical team. Carignan believes even though he's stepping away, Duffy will still lose his Senate salary. For me, it's not affect uh, my, my proposition, my motion. Now, this isn't a done deal just yet. The motion still has to be debated, and all three senators in question will have the opportunity to make a case for keeping their jobs. Donna? All right, Mike Lecouture, Lecouture on Parliament Hill, thank you.